Creating Sustainable Global Transformation. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 53. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly update number 53, covering our progress, the team's progress, for the week of February 24th, 2014. As always, if you'd like more information, complete links, more images, more details, visit our blog, our written blog, where you'll find all those details. And if you would like a weekly email, every time one of these updates comes out, please send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email list. Let's jump into the updates. One Community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, and a learner-teacher collaborative learning process. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, completed another 25% of the Art, Music, and Trade Skills subject image, which you can see expanding in the background here. We also finished the rest of the Value Subject web page, so you can check out that completed page. And we are 20% of the way done now with the Health Subject research, which includes topic and image research, and also 60% complete with the English subject research, both topic and images, all this happening behind the scenes. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and begins with creating eight different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team ran more sunlight simulations on the Aquapini and Wallapini designs, which is what you can see running here in the background. This was to test the newest layout of skylights, make sure that we're getting enough light for the plants in there. We also continued designing the passive cooling labyrinth in 3D, and you can see pictures of that on the blog. We completed sunlight calculations comparing the current tropical atrium design to a 50% glazing uh, with insulated shutters design. You can see those details on the blog, written blog as well. And Zidanic Jurip is continued engineering on the Aquapini and Wallapini roof design, which looks like this. Uh, he was safely able to reduce roof beam sizes and their associated costs from 16 inches to 12 inches. And David Sweet completed a third roof plan for the skylights, which is the uh, testing that you saw earlier there in the video. And we're getting closer and closer to what we'll actually be using. And last but not least, Bupesh Sithala shared the first real-to-life 3D render of the central pond component of the complete Phase 1 food infrastructure. And that looks like this. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing completed the rest of the planting plan for the complete outer ring of the Earth Bag Village, and for the plant that will be placed on this map, uh, expanding in the background. Next, we'll be putting this into 3D. Victor Herber also made more huge progress on the vermiculture toilet engineering, which you can see here. The plan now is a steel framework that will support aluminum trays three feet wide by seven feet long. 
and this will allow us to use the lighter and much easier to remove and empty aluminum trays while maintaining the needed structural integrity of the foundational tray system using heavier steel. Amira Kassem, a mechanical engineering student in Israel, is also researching the specific tests we'll be doing to uh, run on the soil on the worm castings after the system is complete to prove the end result of this vermiculture waste system is safe. Uh, in addition to this, Philip Gill also updated the Murphy Bed Dome Home custom furniture design to have an 8-foot ceiling instead of what we had before, which was 9 feet. This provides us with more loft room and a design consistent with the students' shared room furniture designs that we shared last week and the children's shared room furniture designs that we also shared last week. In this area of the project, we are seeking a Wi-Fi network designer and a master plumber. If anyone would like to help or know someone who might like to help us, finish this open source model. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team working on the duplicable city center completed 3D details for the aesthetic rock and swimming pool features around the indoor, outdoor, and all natural swimming pool. We also completed a redesign of the first three floors of stairs to match Carl's work from last week. And we completed the rest of the Duplicable City Center open source portal redesign, which is now live on the site. Check it out. It's beautiful. That infrastructure is set up so that we will be able to expand it indefinitely, adding all the details, open source and free shared details, blueprints, plans for duplication of this building. And uh, also Douglas Sim Stenhouse finished the final pre-painting drawing. So this is just the drawing before the painting for the Duplicable City Center rendering that is coming. And we'll be replacing the current drawing at the top of all the new Duplicable City Center pages, which were created as part of the open source portal redesign. Joel Newman is also working on real-to-life renders of what this building is going to look like. So, uh, you know, photo, photo quality renders of the Sego Center uh, placed in its actual environment. You can see a few screenshots of those here, just the beginning stages. And also along with all of this, we complete the rest of the new natural pool and eco hot tub open source page. And uh, Jennifer Engelmeyer is now 50% of the way done with pricing out all the natural pool hardware. Which is, uh, and her, this process that she's going through is adding all the cost details to the great work of Rob Jurdy, our pool designer, who put the uh, initial um, details of this hardware together in collaboration with Jennifer. And last but not least, Carl Harris finished another redesign of the fourth floor, including a second women's bathroom stall and a new roof design to match the design of the cupola roof. And you can see that here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer, specifically for the cupola, to design that so that it can be built without heavy machinery. If you or somebody you know knows someone that could help us out, by all means, get in contact with us if you'd like to be a part of this open source component. Sustainable global transformation is possible. It's possible because if we make it easy enough, if we make it affordable enough, and we make it attractive enough, it will spread on its own, and that's what we're here to do. But for it to be sustainable, we feel that it's essential that it comprehensively addresses everything that is happening on our planet right now. Providing a solution, not only a sustainable solution, not only to food, housing, and energy, but to people's economic situation, to people's desire for an enriched and fulfilled living experience, to people's desire to be able to spend more time with their friends and family, to be able to spend more time in nature, to be able to give back to the world, to contribute, to grow, constantly grow, an environment of constant growth. All of these things are connected in our opinion. And so when we talk about creating sustainable global transformation, that's what we're talking about. Creating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that teach people how to do that. And anyone can participate. So we talk about the different areas that we're looking for people to help out with, and there are many more than that. If what we're doing sounds fun to you, if this is exciting to you, if you'd like to be a part of global transformation, if you'd like to join us in what it is that we're doing, then the invitation is wide open. Also, if you'd just like to follow us through social media, we are on all of the different social media avenues, and we invite people to share what it is that we're creating, to plug in in the way that works best for you. And of course, we're still looking for major funding. You know, that one person that could fund us 
either through a large-scale donation or through large-scale investment in one community, or if six million people were to donate one dollar, or if 300,000 people were to donate twenty dollars, we would build one community. We'll build it, and then people will be able to come and visit it, experience everything that we're talking about, everything that we're designing right now, and take the open source and free shared blueprints and duplicate them anywhere in the world. This is what we're here to do. This is what we're doing right now. And everything that we're designing is open source and free share to make that as easy as possible for others to inspire people to take what it is that we're doing and either join our team and get involved with the process or take it and design it and develop it in a completely different direction, whatever way works for you. So with that, I will wrap up, say thank you as always. If you'd like weekly updates, if you'd like a, an email every week when this when these updates come out, please send a, an email to us at onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And until next week, have a good week. Thank you.